The new XL1 was the highlight at the Volkswagen Group Night in Geneva. The automakers put on an impressive display with models ranging from the Lamborghini Veneno to the Bugatti Grand Sport Venet to the Audi A3 e-tron. All in all, the message was innovation and technology, in every aspect of the car's capabilities. In my opinion, that was the strongest message. And we shouldn't forget the second message either. We stand for responsibility, and we take that seriously. Daredevil Felix Baumgartner made history with his supersonic skydive from outer space. As Volkswagen's new brand ambassador, he got to show off his next revolutionary ride, the new XL1. Five years of preparation, a highly motivated team, and the best that technology has to offer. There are lots of parallels to be drawn between your spectacular world record and our high-tech fuel saver. Volkswagen CEO Martin Winterkorn explained the significance of the new model. You could say the XL1 is the technological spearhead of the Volkswagen Group. Without this car, a lot of things at Volkswagen wouldn't have been possible when it comes to new technology. For Volkswagen, the evening also came with another honor. A renowned jury of automotive journalists awarded the carmaker the 2013 European Car of the Year for the Golf. Congratulations! Škoda presented the new Octavia. The brand's flagship model comes in both limousine and combi. I think it's the best Octavia of all time. It's in a class of its own, as we say. We sold over 400,000 Octavias worldwide last year. Now with this car, that is the limousine and the combi, I think we'll be passing the 500,000 mark. Bugatti showed its new work of art on wheels, the Grand Sport Venet, with a look designed by French sculptor Bernard Venet. Jujaro's concept show car is also a true sculpture, a mid-engine sports car with compact dimensions but the feel of an SUV. Seat was also set to impress with the three-door compact design of its new Leon SC. And Porsche unveiled its GT3. The 475 horsepower sports car accelerates to 100 kilometers an hour in just 3.5 seconds. Bentley brought out its new edition of the Flying Spur. This speedy luxury limousine's got a winning combination of power and elegance, and it's fitted with the latest in communication technology. Lamborghini made a spectacular appearance celebrating its 50th anniversary with the Veneno. The super sportster can do a top speed of 355 kilometers an hour. Only three will be built. Audi presented its RS6 Avant. At 560 horsepower, it uses 30% less fuel than its predecessor. And Audi also revealed the A3 Sportback e-tron. The plug-in hybrid performs like a sports car, on just 1.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Volkswagen commercial vehicles presented a prototype electric delivery van, the EcoMotion. And Volkswagen has reinvented its signature Golf again, with the lighter, more spacious variant. The TDI Blue Motion model only needs 3.3 liters per 100 kilometers. That's fuel-efficient technology to impress even world-class daredevil athletes. Because of my sport, I tend towards fast cars with high horsepower. But at the same time, I see the future in fuel-efficient cars. We all live on this planet Earth, and we should be doing everything we can to preserve it. I think VW is doing a very good job there. Volkswagen Group Night at the 2013 Geneva Motor Show, a firework of innovation for Volkswagen.